Hello, today we're talking about artificial intelligence, automation, and the future of nursing. As you can see, we've got a couple of pictures of people working with robots, and its technological change is already shaking up the profession. What's your relationship with technology going to be? Well, I personally like to embrace technology, but that's not always the easiest thing to do if it's not rolled out correctly. It can be very challenging, especially if you're trying to work and meet your previous demands while learning something brand new. The article talks about different things like care bots that can help patients stand up, even lift and swing them from the bed to the bathroom, which is kind of cool. Um, different things like triage nurse, sort of robot using algorithms to ask questions and sort of send you to the correct floor based off how many nurses are working there. Um, but what I thought was the coolest thing was they talked about developing an online computer game to teach electric or electronic med admin to nursing students, which reminded me of the time that I created a video game in second year nursing about relational practice. And yeah, let's take a look at that. So I'll just load it up here. I called it Highly Realistic Relational Practice Simulator. You can create a new game or load a save game. Here's my character here. And here's the introduction. You're Eric, hero of the story, a mythical nursing student with all the right answers lurking in his head. Your quest is to traverse the land, collect all five C's of caring, with even the possible sixth C lurking in the townsfolk's knowledge. And uh, just basically <laughs> use your relational practice, or you could up, end up dead or worse, fail relational practice. Oh yeah, and there's your character sc screen. We've got some skills here. Oops. Not yet though. Watch those. Let's go through the game. And I see a hand axe of the caregiver plus one, wood shield of anti-negativity old school nurse's hat and some septic scrubs. Yikes. And you can loot treasure oops, loot treasure chests. Potion of healing or health promotion was found. Walk around, people will interact with you. You can talk to this guy. Wow, wow, wow. Like a second year nursing student. I can smell the filthy reek of your marks seeking desperation from here. <laughs> I don't like that, so I say you have permission to bite me. That is highly unrelational, Slap. You feel your grades slipping away from you. Perhaps scholastic death will teach you a lesson. And we've actually lost the game at this point. Game over. So, so it was uh, kind of a humorous spin on relational practice. It is actually possible to win the game <laughs> by going through everything. But I won't bore you with that. <laughs> uh, I did have quite a bit of fun creating it. So I think that games and stuff, as long as they're made kind of fun and interesting, are an excellent way for people to learn. And especially with our kind of global pandemic COVID times where we're all quarantining and spending more time at home, we're going to need some creative outlets to basically learn in different styles and shake it up. You can't read for like eight hours a day, every day on just textbooks. <laughs> you will go crazy over time. So basically that's a quick take on technology and my opinion and a little bit of fun with it. So have a great day.
talk to you later.